Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today, guys, we are out here on this beautiful, nice, and sunny day here, out uh, in the driveway, working on a new build or project, as I like to call it. All right, guys. So here is my twenty-dollar little electric scooter. Picked it up a few months ago from a guy down the road. I saw it was for sale. Asked him for how much. He said twenty dollars. And so, gave him 20 bucks and brought it home. It's been sitting right over there in the garage for quite some time now. I decided I pulled out today and uh, just get working on it. Now, I've had multiple different plans for this uh, machine in particular. I've been doing a lot of work on it out here, as you guys just saw in the time lapse. Um, so, yeah, so here, here is the original little electric motor that was on it originally. I just went ahead and took it off not too long ago. So here are all the specs on it. This is what was on it. it weighs about five or so pounds. All right, guys. So the plan with this scooter. I've had lots of different ideas involving this machine, particularly here, on what I was going to do for a motor. The engine I've decided on is a little weed eater engine that I took off of an old weed eater uh, not too long ago. It's a 128C Husqvarna engine, which uh, equals up to about 26, I believe, or no, maybe 28 cc's here. So I thought uh, this would be a perfect fit for this um, for a scooter. Now here is the plan all along since I purchased this scooter. An electric to gas conversion. Now the engine I had in mind as soon as I got this was a 79cc Predator Harbor Freight engine. Um, man, they are just, uh, they're a bit too expensive. And I've had this engine around, and the original plan for the engine, moving on to the engine's story, was to put it on, whoa, that's not good, to put it on either a mountain bike, one of these mountain bikes, or an old BMX bike that I have. But with this here, I just noticed that this engine would be the perfect candidate for it. Now, what I do still plan on doing, not to spoil any future builds or anything, but what I do plan on doing sometime in the future is still motorizing one of these bicycles or maybe uh, a little BMX bike that I have not uh, at our house right here, uh, but at somewhere else. But anyways, guys, so this is the backstory of it. Uh, for you guys that were wondering, this is an Exodus Electric. It's got a wooden deck on it, which is kind of cool. Never really seen a wooden deck on one of these electric things. Here's the other logo. It's an Exodus. That's the on and off switch. Charging port. There's not really any other... I mean, there's warnings on it, but there's no... Uh, really... What year it was manufactured. I don't really know much about Exodus Electric. Um... When I bought it from the guy, he said wasn't a battery in it. Here's the circuit thing, circuit board. And here's the original engine. Comes with a nice little drum brake. Still works very well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back up on a quick little time lapse. And uh, catch you guys in a bit. reassembled and got back on everything that I needed to get back on uh, regarding the back. So uh, as far as the circuit and all these wires, they aren't really hurting anything. So I think I can just shove them down there. Uh, take the deck floor piece right here. Uh, I, I need to find three more screws for it, uh, but I'll take the one screw that I happen to have right now 
and call it good on the deck. The part two um, should be me uh, figuring out how we're going to mount up the motor. I'm going to explain about how I already have two uh, bolt holes and two uh, mounting points on here to make it work, uh, but we're going to need another two for the four holes. Alright guys, so uh, the way I'm going to make another two mounts is using some scrap metal, some spare scrap metal we have laying all the way over there, and uh, should work good. So then I can uh, fabricate those up and get that engine going and call her good. Uh, another thing new I need to explain. Alright, so a couple more things I need to explain. Alright, so how is this uh, scooter going to be driven? It's actually going to be uh, friction driven. So here is the okay. Here is the clutch right here, guys. As you guys can see on the engine. Here is the kill switch wire here. Okay, so it's not on the side of the weeder. So this is going to be a friction drive. Just the shaft right on the tire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a big. Uh, it's called a socket on the shaft, so that it gives it a bigger radius for it to hit the tire. All right, guys, so it's not just straight off the engine. So that's how it's gonna be driven. Currently, right now, the brakes work, and everything I need uh, mounted in the back is mounted up, and that is pretty much about it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest of guys day and night. I thought I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.